In this one, we're gonna talk about the serializer method field, which allows us to do a, a method on the individual object that's coming through with the serializer, which will make sense in just a moment. And we're gonna import it first, and that is the serializer method field. Now that there's three of these, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in a tuple. and then also reorganize them in a better order. There we go. So serializer method field. And the first thing that we're gonna do is turn user into username. So user equals the serializer method field, and that's it. And then down here, we're gonna declare a method, which is gonna take, it's gonna be git, and then whatever field name that we declared here. So in this case, it's user, and it's gonna be self, and OBJ as an object or the instance that it's gonna be working with. And all we're gonna do here is return object.user and .username, and we're gonna make it a string. Refresh into our list. Let's make sure the server's running. And we got a little bit of a spelling error on the serializer method field. Fix that, there we go, refresh, and there we go. Now we see the username, right? Very simple. Um, that is one way to do it. There is other ways on how you could do that, but that's a really efficient and clean way to do it. Um, of course, you could do the same thing on the detail field if you are so inclined, and we might as well because the list and detail are, well, they're fairly similar in this case. Um, all right, so now that we've got that, there is another serializer method or a serializer method field in particular that we might want specifically for the detail. Maybe not the list, but definitely for the detail. And that one is gonna be image. So I'm gonna do serializer method field again, and we're gonna do define get image. And this one, we wanna return the images URL or nothing, right? So let's go ahead and look at the models and we have an image in here, which is right here. So it can be uh, null or true, or excuse me, it can be blank. It can be empty in the database. So we have to take that into account. Basically what I'm, do, I'm gonna do here is just gonna say object, or try to image equals to object.image.url and accept. We're gonna return none, or we'll just say image equals to none and then we will return the image. Okay, so this should give us the URL of the image if the image exists. If it doesn't, then it won't. And let's go ahead and check out our detail. Uh, so we got the field image was declared on Serializer. This is really good, not included in fields. So that means when we declare something up here, we have to put it into our fields. And I'm gonna put this at the very bottom, which is image, save it, go back in. And we got user again, another user, uh, another one, which we didn't even have user in the detail view before. So let's go ahead and put it in. And we refresh and there we go. So we got image being null for this particular post. So let's actually go into this post. And it doesn't really matter which post, but I'm gonna go ahead and put an image in. And in this case, it's just gonna be a screenshot of what we're working on, uh, which of course that wouldn't be an actual post image, but this post is my title. That's the one we just did. So let's go back into the API, my title. Now it's showing us the image itself. Uh, it's giving us the URL. So if we said path, it will give us the path that's directly on uh, the web page itself. But I'm gonna leave it as URL. It is relative, so you would have to include the actual URL itself So to actually get this. So if I copied this right here and just pasted it here, the exception of that slash, we do get that image. Cool, so that is essentially the serializer method field. Very useful for stuff like this. And of course you can use the serializer method field for one more thing, and that is markdown. So get markdown, right? So we actually had this. We had get markdown and, we, and that's something that we probably want to use. So um, our content in our actual API 
might be the markdown content. It might be the HTML marked down content. So inside of our serializers, we also might want to say, um, just we're just going to add it in for now, and we'll just say markdown equals to serializer method field. And then we'll put markdown right underneath content. You could call it content and raw content, raw content being the non markdown stuff, but we'll keep it kind of consistent to what, what we're actually calling it right now. And we're just going to return object dot get markdown. And there we go. So if we refresh in here, it gives us the marked down version of that content. Very, very cool. Uh, this is probably more realistically going to be called HTML. So we'll just call it HTML all across the board because it's really HTML. It's not Markdown. It's it's converted what we had in the content as Markdown. Um, so there's that. Um, that is really cool with the serializer method field. Of course, you could do this with all sorts of things that we did in the model. Um, and also like we have read time on here. You could you could run method. You could run other types of things in this method field itself too. Um, all right, so if you have any questions on the serializer method field, let us know, otherwise let's keep going.